And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. Maui Gym Sunglasses, the choice of the best captains. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. Here's Pete Gray and rock god Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with rock god Rick Maxa in the Mighty 1090 studios with Kevin Kelly from West Coast Marine. Parker Boats talking fishing. And a good time here. Fish are biting. They Let's are. Go. Oh, man. Finally. This is such a good day hearing from Scott Mizell, hearing from Captain Franco Presti. Obviously, those great catch reports. The, the switch has flipped, and it was about time Ooh, <laughs> because we've looked man. at a lot of not biting fish, and it's good to have those things biting and giving us a shot now. Hey, we're having a great time here on Let's Talk Hookup. If you want to join us in the second hour, there's two ways that you can do that. It's been a busy morning, but we definitely have phone lines open right now. Both on the toll-free line, there's one available on the toll-free number. That's 877-792-1090. Again, 877-792-1090. And it's been a busy morning, but we do have one local line open right now also. That one's 858 area code 457 1090. Again, 858 457 1090. Not only are we talking fishing, talking parkers, talking Yamahas, everything in between. We're also giving away a great prize. One lucky caller at the end of the show today is going fishing on a three quarter day trip aboard the San Diego out of C4 Sport Fishing. Again, we talked about earlier in the show, San Diego had a great day at the Coronado Islands yesterday. Uh, yellowtail, Barracuda, Bonita, Calico Bass, the full three-quarter day run, great fishing, great opportunity, and somebody at the end of the show is going to get to go fishing on that great boat to San Diego on a three-quarter day trip. Indeed. You want to get through, there's your chance. 877-792-1090. Open right now. Let's go ahead and jump back into it. Talk to Kevin. Brian in Temecula. You're up next on Let's Talk Cook-Up. Hi, Brian. Good morning, guys. Um, I'm just a bit of a novice as far as, like, knowing what to do as far as research rise and, and buying a boat. I heard you guys talking about, like, the 23- and the 25-foot parkers. Right. Can you tell me as far as, like, you know, what are what are the – I'd like to have something that I'm going to put on a trailer. But, I mean, is there, what's the cost difference between the two, and, like, why would one buy one over the other base? Um, they're pretty distinctively different boats. Um, the 23 um, is an uh, eight-and-a-half-foot beam boat. Um, easily trailered by a half-ton pickup truck. Um, probably the most popular of the boats are the 2320s. Double-axle trailer. Uh, Double-axle trailer um, um, and a single engine. Um, the 25-foot boats are 9.5-foot beam, a whole foot wider. Um, still on a double-axle trailer, but now you're pushing 10,000 pounds. And so you're going to need a bigger bigger vehicle to pull those things. Um, and also, because of the 9.5-foot beam, you need to consider the wide load situation uh, going down the highway. Um, so, and they're more expensive. Uh, you know, you can get um, all in on a 23 for right around $100,000, um, and that's with uh, bait tank and rod holders and Really nice electronics. Uh, typically, we're doing a lot of Simrad right now. Um, Simrad stuff's pretty awesome. Oh, hard to beat it. Yeah, it's it's hard to beat. Ninety ninety percent of the stuff we're doing right now is is Simrad. I think it's all touch uh, screen, easy touch to screen, use. and a lot of that uh, is driven by that um, that broadband radar. A yeah. lot of people like that broadband radar, and um, it's amazing how good that and that autopilot is. system that oh, they yeah. that they have for Simrad is yeah. awesome. Nobody we, beats the autopilot. Not, Simrad yeah. is the best in yeah. the autopilot. Yeah. And then and when you get up to the twenty fives, um, you're probably a hundred and fifty thousand dollars all in. Um, and if you go crazy with the tower and that kind of stuff, you can get more. So, um, so it's that much more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another, well, you're, another... you got you got two engines now instead of okay. one, uh-huh. and um, the electronics you're going to put a 12 inch screen in instead of a nine inch screen. So yeah. you got more expense there. See, the thing I like about Kevin is there's no BS. You know, I mean that's that's the so many people could say like, oh, I could get you into that boat for you know 
whatever bar, but that's the realistic price. That's the price that you're driving away with it at. That's not, that's, that's not, you're not yeah. throwing a number out there that's the price of a haul and oh, by the way, you're going to need a trailer and you're going to need this and you're going to need that and you're going to need a, that's the real deal thing. Like you're, that's what you're, that's what you're paying for that boat when you're driving home with it. I'm up front. That's, that's it. Yeah. You know, and, and, and what other people have to understand is you're dealing with Kevin. This is yeah. like, I, the, I, I'm this the is owner. the head, this is the head cook and bottle washer right here. <laughs> I, I, right? I do it all. I do it all. You or, deliver the boat. I deliver the yeah, boat. Yeah, you work with a deal with the customer. <laughs> yeah. You, I even get in there and ranch on stuff, too. I so, like yeah. it, man. There's no BS at West Coast Marine. Yeah. It's just it's you guys all... run such a great operation. I'm really proud to have bought our boat from you. Yeah, indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. That does free up. 858-457-1090. Open right now. Next up, let's talk to Dan. He's calling us from Encinitas this morning. Good morning, Dan. Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks for my call. I got a question on anchoring up. Uh, last or I guess it was Labor Day when the wind was really blowing. We couldn't get anchored up on Desperation Reef, and we were just getting tossed around. And uh, is there a specific way to anchor up on the reef? Lots of line. Lots yeah. of chain. Yeah. Yeah. Lots, <laughs> lots, of, lots, of, lots of chain. Heavy anchor, lots of chain. Um, how big a boat did you have? Well, I was on a – it was a sport boat. It was oh. an 80-footer. Oh. And we, we couldn't get locked in. No. Oh. That's interesting. Those, those guys are normally pretty good at that, yeah. that stuff. Yeah. But, um problem with desperation, it's deep, it's right? Deep, yeah, exactly. 300 feet or something like that. And and you need at least double, triple that uh, in line and chain. To, yeah, you need a lot of scope, a lot, yeah. of, lot of line out there to get the angle down. Yeah. Maybe we can't, you know, obviously not being there, we can't answer Dan's exact question as far as what he could on the sport boat, but maybe you could go over what it takes to anchor properly on – your 23 Parker, you know, what, what's a what's an appropriate anchor and chain setup? You know, I know it maybe doesn't answer the specific question, but I'm sure a lot of us out there, that that's something that, you know, is, is not a, an A-plus in everybody's game. Um, the, uh, the lo- most of the boats I get are, come with the uh, windlass um, on the boat, and it's a Lumar uh, 700 Pro Fish uh, free fall windlass. So, uh uh, Parker supplies us with the uh, chain and the anchor road, and it's 300 feet of line, and they typically give me 15 feet of chain. I immediately cut that off <laughs> and uh, put uh, 30 feet of chain on Minimum, the, yeah. uh, on the 23s, and I'll go up to 40 feet of chain yeah. on the 25s. You want at least the length of your boat, yeah, right? Yeah, and I go longer. Yeah, and that's a good they, idea. You know, recommend a certain weight anchor, and I go the next size up. Do you? Yeah. Um, so that anchor now has a chance to uh, get to the bottom, and with all the chain, um, you know, dig in and lay down, and and we pack in 300 feet of uh, that eight plate, uh, that soft line that packs real nice in the chain locker. Um, so on these uh, free fall winches. Um, you you put it in down mode for three or four seconds, and the clutch will actually disengage, and it'll allow the anchor and the chain to just free fall. You don't have to power it down, right. and it goes straight to the bottom. And you don't want to power up while it's going. you got to let it go all the way to the bottom and then back up. And Now, why don't you want to power up? Because you'll, you'll lock the clutches on the, on the gypsy, and with the chain still falling fast, and it'll gall the clutches and stick and oh. bind. Oh, well. So you've got to let it go all the way to the bottom and then then stretch it out um, and stretch it out good. Get a lot of scope on it. But now that you have a he- heavier anchor and more chain, you have a better chance of actually getting the anchor to set. Is, yeah. and, is chain more important than anchor, or do, does one have to one one just as important as the other? Chain more important than than like the, the weight of the anchor. Um, I think chain's probably the most important. I, agree I think with so that. too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and 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 you got to look at the 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 physics of the whole thing. Right. The the anchor is the thing that's on the uh, that that locks into the ground, but the chain is what keeps it in the ground. Right. Exactly. And and, and keeps that. The, if you look at any diagram of anchoring technique. It's all about the chain laying on the ground, the ground mm-hmm. tackle being on the ground and digging in. Yeah, and as the boat bounces up and down, you're going to have that chain um, lifting off the bottom and then resettling back down. And if you got, if you don't have enough chain, every time the bow 
bounces up, you're going to pull the pull the anchor up. Pull the anchor up. Yeah. We we took our boat out for Fourth of July, anchored up underneath SeaWorld to watch the fireworks, and it was pretty breezy. If you wanted to get, a, I mean, it's not the nicest thing to say, but if you wanted to get a little bit of a chuckle about people, maybe that weren't experts at anchoring their boats and dragging and swinging and flying around, there was. There's not a, a lot, lot of, of that going not on. a lot of expertise on Fourth of July weekend fireworks day. What yeah, the, yeah it was no, pretty, no, pretty yeah, solid. No doubt about it. Chain more, more with chain more is better. Yeah. More just, is better. Just, whatever you think you need, double it. Just make sure you have a Stephen with the uh, which is our uh, our our deckhand and Neil's employee who goes fishing with all the time. Just make sure you have a Stephen with you if you got a lot of chain and not a windlass. That's a, a really windless, important yeah. part of the program oh, for sure. too. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for <laughs> a the young call. Buck. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, with that, it's time to find out what's going on. A guy that knows all about it is your saltwater guide, Captain Dave Hansen. And today, his catch port sponsored by Gamakatsu Live Bait Hooks. They drive the point home. Gamakatsu features the absolute perfect bends and ideal barbs to allow your baits to swim harder and longer. And when they do fall victim to the intended predator, Gamakatsu Gamakatsu hooks bite back with vengeance. All their hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu hooks for infinite success. There's nothing like a Gamakatsu. And there's nothing like your saltwater guide, Captain Dave Hansen, who's got our fishdope.com report. What's up, Dave? Well, good morning, Rick. Good morning, Pete. I don't know who the guest is. I apologize. I'm going 100 miles an hour. But whoever it is, good morning. Captain Kevin Kelly. It's Kevin hey, at Kevin. Parker. Hey, how are you? I know, Kevin. How are you, buddy? <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Good. Hey, guys, I got to tell you, we're going to get off subject here for a minute. I never stopped learning, and we were blessed to have Mr. R.J. Boyle from Florida, the uh, true inventor of the deep drop swordfish, on our boat for the last three days. And I learned a ton from that man. It was spectacular. We went and set up over there at Clemente for a couple of days trying to figure out this thing. And like he said, it's tough to figure it out when you've never been here before to figure out exactly where to go, but we were blessed by the fish gods. I personally have never seen a live OPA. We got a 147 and a half pound OPA, and nice. it was spectacular. That's cool. Wow. Was unbelievable, guys. It was incredible. The thing, when it wanted to go, it just took the 200 pound braid like there was no tomorrow. It was pretty cool. But right away, RJ knew it was not a sword, but it was still a pretty cool bycatch. I was pretty happy with it, but we learned some new techniques. But other than that, guys, I've been all over the place this week, all fishing, Clemente, Catalina, outside here looking for that yellow fin that's everywhere off Dana from Dana Point down to the border on the inside, 12, 18 miles off the beach. Whenever this stuff gets done eating all those anchovies, we are going to have a phenomenal tuna season because literally everywhere you go, you see it on the meter. You see fish come up crashing around, but the there's so much anchovy right now, it's hard to pull them off. If you get lucky and you get a handful of fish or a couple of fish, you got to feel pretty proud of yourself because these things are very frustrating. These yellowfin have been hanging out with the bluefin for so long, and I think they're bluefin now, and they act the same. It's pretty frustrating. But Catalina, Clemente, both fishing really good right now. Lots of everything, lots of bonita, lots of barracuda, lots of calico bass. To get on the right condition, there's plenty of yellowtail at both islands. The beach is fishing phenomenal, calico bass all over the place, barracuda up there in Long Beach, San Pedro area. One day it bites wide open and it doesn't bite for three or four days. You just want to make sure, like I always say, you got to go fishing, guys. You just got to go. That bluefin tuna down below the border there, this record size tuna. Lots of people are getting their personal best bluefins. You know, it's just, I don't know. As soon as it eats all the food that's here, it's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, man. So is this the week? Dave, come on. This is the week. Absolutely. Well, there's never a bad time to go fishing unless <laughs> yeah. the weather's crappy. I go fishing every single day, and you guys should too, because there's never a bad day on the water unless it's really rough. Indeed. And follow it <laughs> on fishdope.com. Uh, Dave gives reports. Mark gives reports. All the information you need is at fishdope.com. 20 bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com right now. You put the code in, hook up now, lowercase, no space, hook up now. You save 20 bucks off an annual membership. You have 365 days 
of fishdope.com for less than 150 bucks. How about that? No brainer. Yeah, no brainer. That's pretty good. And you know what's really cool is Pete Grosbeck left the boat last night, and this is my first opportunity to actually talk, so I'm pretty excited to talk. Yeah, very good. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Very good, Dave. Well, and I say that because I know he's on his boat right now listening. They're out there trying that deep drop thing on the control chaos right now. So, hello, Pete. Hi, RJ. And Thanks, guys, for letting me talk, and I'll let you get back to the show, and I'll talk to you next Sunday. All right. Talk See you, to Dave. Next Sunday, Dave. Dave. Appreciate that very much. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up our they should. He should talk. Right, yeah. I yeah. mean, could I you mean, imagine? Come on. Does he say could, the competing you, between oh, Pete Grossbeck oh, and Dave oh Hansen? Oh my God! I mean, oh my God! You're talking about getting a word in edgewise. What about Pete? I can't come imagine. You imagine what? You imagine what poor R.J. Boyle must have thought being in between those two hurricanes. Holy moly! <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, we're having a good time, and we want to have you join us this morning. Having a great time again. Catch report wrapped up by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego, the absolute best. Fisherman's Processing is San Diego's finest, and that's why they're known as the Fish Pros, because once you try them, you'll be hooked. They'll fillet and vacuum pack your fish all to your specs, as well as offer the best in smoked fish, jerky, and their famous tuna burgers. Check Fisherman'sProcessing.com for more details, or you can see them when your trip returns to the San Diego landing. Can't wait to get some of that tuna over to Fisherman's Processing. Man, nobody does it better. Nobody does it. Better. Table ready is the word that they always use, and every time I pull it back out of the freezer, you always you always look at them like, yeah, that's it, man. I mean, there is just you don't do anything. You don't cut any bloodline. You don't cut any skin off. There's no red marks. There's no nothing. You just open the bag, pat it off, olive oil it up, and throw it on the grill. You're good. Yeah, <laughs> it's so for good. Sure. Hey, you want to get through? It's been a busy morning. You want to talk to Kevin? Ask a question. Make a comment. Fish report. Eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Eight seven seven. Seven nine two ten ninety. All right. Well, let's jump right back into the phones. This time, we're going to talk to Don, who's calling us from Woodland Hills this morning. Hi, Don. Welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Don? Hey, Kevin. I was out on um, a skiff with uh, with the charter the other day, and the skipper was talking about that uh, when they repowered the boat, they ended up getting a uh, a Yamaha from a, t- a boat that had twin screws on it, and this was actually a left-turning screw. Is that normal, or is it typically a right-turning prop? It's a good question. The, the right-hand rotation is the one that they sell more of, but there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a left-hand turning. Um, so either one will work on it, a, as a single-engine application. As a single-engine, yeah. Um, but when you have twins, you got to have one and the other, right? Exactly. Yeah, a left and a right. But, um, yeah, there's there's boats that we see that come in with um, left, left-hand left rotation, and, you know, they just have a left-hand rotation prop. Um, it's a, a little bit different gearbox on the left-hand rotation, um, and probably a Probably a little heavier duty, I think, is what I've been told. So there's uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I, I, and you'll notice um, sometimes if you see a, uh, uh, a boat sitting um, in idle, the left-hand prop, the port prop will actually be turning just very so slowly because there's an extra um, there's an extra carrier bearing or gear in there or something that causes that left-hand prop just to slowly turn when it's not in gear. It's not in gear. Why is that? There's Because the, the bottom end is a little bit different uh, construction for the left-hand rotation. Interesting. But there's there's nothing. There's no there's, difference. There's no difference. There's Either nothing way. wrong Why with that. Why do you always sell right-hand rotation? That's just how they come um, normally huh. for a single engine. Yeah. Just because. It, it, that's it's just the standard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's just the standard. All right. Maybe because it's coming from the right coast? Or is that I, the left coast? I don't know. I don't know. It's coming First coast. from Japan yeah. and then to Georgia. Yeah. So oh, One way or the other. Anyway, they both work. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. Indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. I want to remind you, be sure to check out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News, always loaded with great information this week. Uh, rockfish in the Channel Islands as well as White sea bass, man, the oh, sea bass bite up. Biting. You should see some of the pictures in Western Out There News this week. Branding got another huge one. Yeah, that guy's just on fire. And look at the back cover. 
Big ad for West Coast Marine. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Repowers and Parkers and the whole deal. The whole thing at West Coast Marine. There you go. Check it out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. Again, a great opportunity for you to get through on a busy morning. 858 457 1090. And we're going to check in with Yami and find out what's cooking. We got more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. For over five decades, Lee Palm Sport Fishing has set the standard in long-range fishing that they pioneered long ago. The Red Rooster 3 sets a new standard of excellence. The Red Rooster 3 is one of the most modern, quiet, and fastest long-range vessels in the fleet. They have handpicked the finest crew to make your trip a memorable one. The Red Rooster 3 offers trips from 3 to 18 days and runs year-round to the best fishing spots on the planet. Ride the Red Rooster 3 once and you'll be back again. Call the Red Rooster 3 at 619 224 38 57 or see them on the web at redrooster3.com. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. Fifth Avenue Insurance has a new name. It's Snap Insurance. Still providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates. The experts at Snap Insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right. Traveling to Mexico? Snap has you covered. You can even work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more. Call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Snap Snap Insurance, 800-527-6617 or snapins.com. That's S-N-A-P-P-I-N-S dot com. He's not just my fishing buddy. After 30 years, he's a brother, and I'd sure hate to lose him. His bass boat's got nothing to do with it. So I make sure both of us wear a life jacket. Save the ones you love, even if they don't own a fancy boat. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. The bluefin are abundant this year, but getting them the bite is another story. But if you're willing to chase them, there's an opportunity to land the catch of a lifetime. Now, getting the deal of a lifetime on a new Ford is much less effort because the gigantic summer sales event is going on now at your San Diego County Ford dealer. Choose from a great selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs and save big on interest charges with zero APR long-term financing. On top of that, your Ford dealer will give you an additional bonus for your qualified trade. This special offer is available to anyone who gets approved through Ford Motor Credit. You'll also find great deals on new Ford Super Duty, Motor Trend Magazine's 2017 Truck of the Year. So why chase deals all over town when you can land the deal of a lifetime on the new Ford, car, truck, or SUV you've always wanted during the Ford Summer Sales Event. Stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego's sports leader, the home of ESPN Radio, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Let's find out what's cooking. Yanni's on the line from Fisherman's Belly. Good morning, Yanni. Hey, Yanni. Good morning, gentlemen. What a great show this morning. Having Thank fun. Thank you very Thanks. much. I, now, I'm hungry this morning, Yanni. What are we eating? <laughs> Well, you know what? Um, I'm continuing our Tuna War recipe series with recipe number three, and that is, are you ready for this one? Tuna taquitos. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I saw Tuna taquitos. I saw the, the photo on Fisherman's Belly, and they look so good. Oh, my God. Tuna taquitos with a homemade cucumber guacamole sauce. I'm telling you. Who doesn't love taquitos, especially homemade taquitos? I was exposed to, to fish taquitos for the first time in my life way back in the Bay of L.A. I was camping and fishing out there, and we gave some fish to some locals. And one of the gals, Juanita, that night came into our campground and gave us some fish taquitos. I'll never forget it. It was insane. I've recreated the recipe over and over again. I've been serving it to my family Oh, my God. You guys have to go to my uh, website to find out how easy it is to make these uh, homemade fish taquitos with some ground fish. And then what's really cool is this guacamole has got cucumber in it. And the Mexicans, especially all over Baja, 
used cucumber for drinks and sauces. And it was the first time I'd ever had cucumber and guacamole. It's really an outstanding way to have an insane guacamole. That sounds so killer. Honey, I can't get over it. And like I said, as always on uh, Fisherman's Belly, you do such a great job of video, showing all the preparation, showing everything about it. Man, that sounds killer. That sounds so good. And we'll have it up on our website, hookup1090.com, on our uh, uh, cooking page there, Angler's Table. Uh, Check it out. And right now you can check it out at Fisherman'sBelly.com. Right, Yanni? Yes, you can. And you know what? If you're on your phone and you need to get my recipe as soon as possible, or let's say you're driving home after your fresh catch and you want to look at some recipes, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe. You'll see my easy-to-make recipes right on your telephone. And if you end up with any questions at all, you have a fish cooking emergency, sign up on our Facebook page. Ask your question. I get alerts on my phone right away. I can help you guys with any kind of fish cooking emergency you guys may have. The thing that I love so much about everything that you do, Yanni, is it it looks killer and it's easy to do. Your videos blow me away that, you know, we can we can produce something that looks as good as the dishes that you make, even if you're a little bit lame like me when it comes to being in the kitchen. Ah, uh, you, you you guys, um, I have mastered the technique of being able to put together simple dishes at home because I just love to eat fish food. I really do. And uh you know, I'm glad to be able to share it with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yanni. Sure appreciate that. We'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Thank you. And by the way, I love today's show, especially I've been buying my electronics at West Marine for years, me and my buddies in our kayaks, and we love the warranty program. So thank you to West Marine. <laughs> well, okay. It's actually West Coast Marine, the Parker Boat Dealers, but close. Oh, yeah. You're close. Oh, yeah. But, you know, uh, hey, that's well, okay. Nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. And, and West Marine sells uh, Simrad, too, but... Uh, but that it's all good. All sure. good. All right. Well, thanks. Right. Thanks, thanks, Yanni. Thanks, Yanni. Appreciate that very much. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, the phone lines, again, are packed up. If you want to get through, still a great opportunity, 858, area code 457-1090. That's our local number. Or toll-free at 877-792-1090. Let's talk to James. Call us from Oceanside this morning. Good morning, James. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Good morning, James. Hey, good morning, guys. Thank you for taking my call. Good morning. Got it, James. Hey, uh, I've got a, a quick question, um, not to get off topic of uh, the tuna, uh, but uh, about a month or more ago, you folks were talking about uh, Barrett Lake uh, being reopened, and I went ahead and got tickets. And nice. I'm super stoked to finally get tickets to fish there. I've ne- never been there um, before in my life. Checked all the information out, and um, I'm wondering about bringing my father. Um, he's kind of elderly. He's 87. And I'm um, worried about uh, access and whether it's going to be a hassle for him to get in and out of the boat there. Um, just wanted any insights you guys might be willing to provide. I, I would say that access is is good. One tip that I might give you is to not be in a rush. You know, people get so excited, you know, to start their morning and everybody runs down to go get into the boat. So you can drive – uh, very close to the um, to the boat dock itself, um, but you you know you're I, I would say as long as you guys don't mind being the first one to like let the let the rush of everybody getting on their boats and then drive your your vehicle and unloading everything uh, as close to the boat dock as you can. Barrett Lake is not as easy as going to one of the other city lakes where you obviously pull up directly in front of the boat and hop in your boat and take off. There is a little bit of you know, walking down, a, you know, some dry, you know, graded hills. But still, it's it's not the easiest one. But you definitely could get access for, for him on, and I don't think it'll be an issue for you, but I wouldn't try to fight the rush with everybody. Let everybody go, get on the boats first, and then you guys drive the car right down to the boat dock, you know, get him unloaded, and then pull your car back up to the parking area up above. Um, and the other thing that I, I will warn you is there are no concessions at Barrett Lake, so make sure you've got ample water and food and all those kind of things. So there's nothing to buy there. And the third thing, it it, it can get hot. You know, it's it's in East Especially County. In the summer. It's in East County and get yeah. hot too. So you know, keep all of those things in mind. No shade on the boats. E- exactly. So maybe bring a umbrella. Right. What, about, what about restrooms, guys? Uh, there uh, again, there, there are there. 
there are facilities, but they're all you know porta porta potty type things. And uh, okay. And as far as getting to, they, and they have several stations out on the lake. But again, I'm I'm not going to sugarcoat it. None of them are are super super easy. They're they're not difficult for for yourself, but you know if you're Father's a little on the elderly side and doesn't have it as easy of a time, you know, n- navigating unstable, you know, walkways, getting up a little hill kind of stuff. It, it might be tougher. So so I, I do think but, it's definitely doable, but, you know, maybe proceed with a little bit of caution. Take those extra steps in mind, knowing that that's, that's what you got. But it is an awesome fishery and an awesome opportunity, a great, great place to go. Yeah. And the, the water level yeah, is grew up Yeah, he grew up here in San Diego and has never fished it himself. He's never actually been there. That's so, awesome. Uh, that's really why he he really wants to go and just check it out, not so much for the fishing, but just to check it out. Yeah, I hope I don't sound like I'm. The, I hope I don't sound like I'm discouraging you for it because I I think you'll oh, I think no, he'll no, be no, just no. fine. You know, I mean, for sure. I'm just saying it, it's definitely doable. It's going to require a little more work on your part, but I think that's awesome, and he's going to love it as will you. It's boats the, are very basic. Yes, you just have to be aware of all the basic things, and I think if you have a handicap. Sticker, I think they do have a handicapped parking spot or a drop-off spot there. Down down below. Down below. That's yeah. really good intel. Yeah. And can I just use uh, regular bass lures and then crimp the uh, the barbs off, or or uh, do I have to buy special hooks for that place? Just crimp the, just crimp down what you have. Yep. It's all barbless hook, right. catch and release. Just crimp down the barbs, and you're good. And I will say, Lori told us when we were there that, you know, that has always been the rule at Barrett, and it always should be followed there regardless. But I'm sure there were plenty of people who didn't in the past. Well, there is a new uh, game warden um, that is assigned to Lake Barrett who – is you know it's usually two people in a plain clothes boat and they have writ they have written a large amount of tickets. One of which really? is a buddy of mine who did get popped for sure. So they're not having they're yes. not crimp, so crimping their barbs. There's a lot of people who probably just well I never get checked. It's no big deal over the years. That is not the case anymore. I, I know of quite a few tickets that have been written. Plain clothes guys are out fishing and you know watch a, watch a couple buddies hook a fish and then slide right over okay boys let's you know let's see them and you know and and you know and one of my buddies like hey man i knew it was the rule just got excited and didn't do it and and got popped so you're going to bear it you know it's going to happen grab your duck bills or your needle nose and flatten down the barbs and keep going cuz it's not like the old days they they definitely are actively checking interesting good information thanks a lot for the call have a great time with your dad there i'm um good for you for taking him out fishing that does free up 858457 1090 open right now. I just posted a picture on our Facebook, Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show, as well as our Instagram, Hookup1090, uh, of Kevin and Lucy. Lucy's, uh, uh, of course, Kevin's constant sidekick, sitting here in the studio with us right now in the Mighty 1090 studio. So you want to check out the team, the West Coast team right there. The Black you Lab. You do it all yourself. That's well, not true. Lucy helps you every day. Yeah. She comes out and she greets customers and yeah. follows me out to the boat and lays down on the nice cold concrete. Yeah. yeah. She's just hanging out here in the She's studio. She's the shop with us. dog and yeah. goes every place. So check that out on our on our Instagram as well as our Facebook page. And also don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. I'd mentioned it yesterday. We have a great article on our Cedros trip with lots of super pictures and information on our Cedro sport fishing trip a couple weeks ago. And, of course, Bill Varney uh, updates everything every week of what's going on in the fishing world, what's going on on the show, it gives you a history of who's on the show. So check that out. Subscribe to our uh, great email blast uh, that's put together every week for you. Uh, along with a story and information. It's easy to do. Just go to a front page of our website, letstalkhookup.com, and just uh, enter your email address and click on that little icon that says subscribe to our newsletter, and you're in. That's it. Well, hey, the phones are getting packed up. If you want to get through, the only line still open, toll-free, 877-792-1090. Let's talk to Pablo calling us from Northridge this morning. Hi, Pablo. Welcome to the show. Hey, fellas, nice talking to you. I wanted to relate a little story on a Parker boat 10 years ago. All we right. left out of Kona Kai. Mothership was a 70-foot Elliot, and we towed a 25 Parker out to Guadalupe. Wow, um, cool. It was called the Wide Load. It was a beautiful boat. Uh, Terrence Bird was on board the uh, the Wide Load, and we set him free at first light uh, upon the tow. And uh, before I let him go, I helium balloon backed him uh two nice breakfast burritos and then they set off in front of us and we spent seven days at the loop where they were out uh you know we we fished all around the island which is pretty hard to do most of the time but with the uh with the parker 
they brought 350 uh, jugs in the uh, cockpit, you know, for fuel. And then on our boat, we had an extra 150 uh, tank of uh, gasoline that we filled them up with on the way home. The red lights came on at uh, the Coronado Islands, but they made it back into the uh, harbor. So it was a wonderful trip. And I think it's the only park I've ever been to the loop. That's that is good so story. cool, Pablo. So wow. did you actually yeah, it was tow awesome. it, or did, did they just follow you? Oh, no, we, we roped them and uh, we uh, bri- uh, bridled them and uh, towed them till first light, which uh, we left Kona Kai about 9 at night. So it was about nine hours later that we set them free, and they went out exploring, uh, giving us the idea of where to anchor up. And uh, we went right out to Pilot Rock and spent a few days there and then kind of cruised around the other end of the island. That's a cool story. That's way cool. <laughs> Did they run back on their own power back home? They went back on their own power, Twin Yamis. Wow. That's a long that's a long ride. That's a long ride for that, sure. That long ride for a parker. That's an awesome story, yeah. Pablo. All right. One other story was I we dropped six hundred foot of chain and an anchor at desperation last year on the tunanator. And I talked to other fishermen and I didn't feel so guilty because we weren't the only ones that lost chain and rope and anchor on that reef. Six hundred oh. feet of chain and anchor. How much do you that's need? That's all we had was six hundred foot. Now we had, you... I mean we had uh, nothing but chain, straight chain. We oh. had to go down to the uh to where it was uh, bolted into the uh, the hull of the boat, and then take the bolts off and say goodbye because we couldn't get it loose, and the and the bow was bended pretty heavy when we tried oh, to jerk it out. Oh, no way, man. that's brutal. And how much how much uh, line do you need chain and line do you need to de- anchor desperation in your opinion? Well, evidently more than we had. <laughs> <laughs> a, you're anchoring in about 300 feet, right? Yes, and you know double is fine, but if it's rough out there and stuff like that, you Not know you might need it. a little more. Yeah, oh, more like more like like nine hundred would probably be more appropriate, yeah. huh? It's about yeah, three but times people don't want to jeopardize <laughs> that much if they do get hung. Yeah, yeah, no kidding, that's a lot of money for sure. Hey, thanks for the stories, Pablo. Hey, Pablo. Appreciate the report this morning. That was fun. All right, let's jump right back into the phones. This time we're going to talk to Doug, calling us from Montebello this morning. Good morning, Doug. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Uh, hi, I was just wondering about the uh, boat. Which si- how do you determine what size outboard to put on on the boat? Size of the boat. Good question. Yeah. Um, well, on the Parkers, they're all, um, you know, pre-done at the factory. They're they're matched. Uh, it's a match set between the boat and the, the hull and the, and the and the horsepower that they do. They do a lot of testing. They do, they have different options available. You know, standard power, and then some boats have midsize power requirements. Their uh, availability, and then you get you know the the top end the most power. So. Um, just depending on how you're going to use it, um, maybe um, dictates uh, which one you're going to order or which one would work in your best interest. So, um, but it's all matched at the at the factory. Now, as far as uh, you know, if it's not a Parker, um, you know, most boats come with uh, with uh, an engine already. So, if you're repowering something, um, you're going to Put the equivalent back on it, or um, maybe have to go up if you're coming from a two-stroke to a four-stroke. You might have to go up a little bit because the four-stroke is going to be a little bit heavier engine. So you might want to go up in horsepower from what was originally on the boat to compensate for extra weight. Yeah. And also, every boat is manufactured with a plate uh, by the Coast Guard that's designated by the Coast Guard that says how much the maximum horsepower Correct. you can put on. You can exceed the maximum horsepower, but it voids your insurance, from what I understand. Yeah. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, your insurance company's going to have a problem with that yeah. if you have a claim. Yeah. And you've exceeded it. Yeah. So uh, you want to stay at or below that recommendation on the plate. Correct. All right. Thanks a lot for the phone call Doug. this morning. All right. Hey, let's jump back into the phones. We got a first time call on the line. Debbie calling us from Chino this Hi. morning. Good morning, mm-hmm. Debbie. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Hi, Debbie. I'm um, Chino, California. Thanks for right. joining us. Yeah, good morning. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I could barely hear you. <laughs> go ahead, Debbie. You have go, a question? Yeah, you're on the air, Debbie. Yes, go ahead. I have a question. Um, I have some friends, and they want to go fishing, and um, one of them is partly blind. Would he be allowed on the boat to fish because he wants to catch the fish? You would have to call uh, the individual landing um, and uh, find out about that, and and they would be able to answer that question. I, I don't know of anybody that... Uh, that that would deny that yeah, as long as they I, have as long as it has if you have help there 
Yeah. And, and you're not just letting them go by himself, which you certainly wouldn't do. But as long as you're there with them, I don't see any anybody that would have a problem. I with can't that. imagine any operation turning you down. And, and that's the best call, Pete, is you give some, give the guys a, a heads up and let them know. You know, maybe they might try to put an extra crew member on board, or they might try to make some arrangements, or they might work with you and say, hey, you know what, why don't you come out on this day? That's when our reservations are, are a little bit lesser, so the guys will be a little more free to help give him a little extra assistance, things like that. I think if you called any good landing around, um, they're all going to be more than happy to work with you and, and you know, allow him to experience the, the cool deal there. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with Pete. Just give him a heads up ahead of time uh, just to give them the ability to make some extra arrangements, and I'm sure he'll be well taken care of. Indeed, Debbie. Thanks a lot for being a first-time caller with us. Appreciate that very much. All right. Hey, let's jump back into the phones. Talk to Bruce. Call us from Lemon Grove this morning. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. Great show. Just about uh, 30 seconds is, left. Uh, Sorry, Bruce. Huh? Just oh, about well, anyways, 30 seconds. I, I, I inherited uh, um, – 40 horse uh, Suzuki. Who could I get to work on that, Kevin? Would you guys do that? Uh, unfortunately, we are Yamaha only. Yeah, just, I know that. Yeah. Strictly Yamaha. Um, you know, I'm not sure. That's that's the one one thing about the Suzukis. They 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 make a good engine, but they just don't have the service um, uh, uh, facilities to. Um, service them and you know provide parts and that kind of stuff. And there's guys around. Look in that uh, um, marine directory. Um, you'll find guys uh, that do it. I think there's somebody down here in San Diego. Somebody's down here. Will do it. Yeah, I'm. I, it's I, always I it's always good to like if you have a Yamaha, take it to an authorized Yamaha service. Center. Oh yeah. If you have a Suzuki, take it to an authorized service center for a Suzuki. Yeah. They'll have the parts and and everything for you. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, with that, we're gonna find out who's going on a three quarter day trip on the San Diego. More let's talk hookup coming your way on the mighty 1090. For East Cape Fishing, Jen Wren is known as the best. This is Mark Rayer. Great service, top quality equipment, including all accurate reels, Calstar rods, and Sibran Electronics, has put my immaculately maintained twin engine cruisers in a class of their own. For memories of a lifetime, just bring your hat and sunglasses, and we'll provide a fishing experience that will exceed your expectations. Our calendar's filling fast, so don't miss out. For packages, two live webcams, a weekly fishery report, and more, check out TeamGenWren.com. We pick up at all East Cape Resorts. So let's go fishing. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state of the art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. This is Chelsea from Dana Landing in Mission Bay. We are truly the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Landing has you covered with the blackjack. Perfect up to four anglers, or the impulse up to six anglers in comfort and style. Dana Landing has a huge tackle shop with everything you need to go fish bay bass, tuna, or marlin, and our staff will dial you in. We even have Mexican and California fishing licenses and reel repair. Our deli at Dana Landing is a local's favorite with all the food, ice, and beverages you need. Hey, need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the ultimate in rods and reels, the latest freshwater lures and live bait. ECBT has a stop second to none when it comes to sharing their passion for fishing. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Check out danalandy.com for more details. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the Long Range Fishing Experience. A spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back, 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality Long Range Voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. You're the big winner going three-quarter day fishing on the San Diego going to Pablo in Northridge. Pablo, congratulations. You're going to love fishing with Captain Booger and the boys. Indeed, and thank you, Kevin Kelly, West Coast Marine, Parker Boats, Yamaha Outboards. How do we find you? We want to investigate the possibilities. Easiest way is on that web, www. WestCoastMarine.com. You have all your boats listed they're, right on the web, right? They're listed there, the boats that are in inventory. There's a section that shows uh, pictures of uh, some of the custom modifications we do. Um, 
it's uh, integrated with our West Customer Service website also um, and all of their service uh, capabilities. Um, my uh, my cell phone number, you can always reach me on that, is in the 949 area code. Seven three five five seven five nine. All right, and if you want to come and take a look, where take do we find look. you? Take a look. We're up in Costa Mesa, uh, fifteen fifty five Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa. It's right where the seventy three, the Newport Freeway ends, and it goes down to the beach, uh, right near Hogue Hospital down there. Can't miss it. Can't yeah. miss it. Just it's look only, for the Parkers. Yeah, only boat dealership on Newport Boulevard down there. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kevin, for coming in, and thank you for listening thank you. today. We're going to be back next Saturday and Sunday. Next Saturday, I'll be at Katmai landing <laughs> right about here. when the show's coming in. And uh, I'll be calling from there, giving you a little report. But Captain Mike Pritchard from the Tribute will be here next Saturday. And then next Sunday, Captain Ryan Bostian from the San Diego. A couple of great shows next Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for listening to Let's Talk Hookup and the Mighty 1090. We'll see you next week.